right. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, we're going to do part two of the series we started the other day, um, talking about, you know, balance. Oops, my, oh no, my red pen. All right, balance uh, part two. Um, in the first part, you know, we talked about, well, what is balance and, and all that good stuff. Um, in this one, we're going to talk about the actual training part of it. You know, how do we help out a dog who doesn't really understand um, what balance is, where to stop, how to hold stock, that kind of thing. Um, you know, we talked, we talked in the previous video, you know, when we're looking at a dog and, and we can tell he doesn't understand balance because he's coming all the way around. He's coming around until he sees the handler and he goes back until he sees the handler, you know, and he's just back and forth, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. He's never, he's never stopping and finding balance. Or he might not even be looking for balance. Um, and dogs do this for different reasons. Sometimes the handlers teach them this. <laughs> um, but sometimes, you know, a dog doesn't just naturally understand this whole con Some dogs, you know, they first out of the bat, you know, they know, hey, I'm, I'm holding this, this critter to you. I'm not going to let him go anywhere. I'm, I'm right here and I got it. Um, we're taking him to you. Other dogs, you know, you have to, you have to help them understand that this is the goal, um, taking, taking them to you. Um, some dogs, they may have some pretty decent natural balance, but, you know, they get excited or they, they worrying about the stock getting away, you know, they just, oh, you know, they really get to moving around here wanting to, wanting to not let the, the sheep escape or the cattle escape, um, and, and they're actually creating their problem, you know, the sheep, are, they're going around and the sheep are going, ah. Um, you know, and that's, that's pretty normal for a young dog. A lot of young dogs do that. Um, some dogs are just head dogs and they're not really caring so much about where you are or really where the, sh 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 ah, I would say stock or sheep or cattle or whatever are. Um, they are just looking to go to the head. And they want to go to the head, and then if the critter turns, they want to go to the head. Um, you know, they're not necessarily thinking anything about taking control of him. Um, but we can we can help with some of that. Some of it uh, we can't. Some dogs, you're just going to have to to stop them, to down them. You know, sometimes repetition. You get back here, down. Um, and you do this enough times, the dog starts expecting to be laid down back there. So he starts stopping, you know, kind of on balance. Um, I like to do a little more of a method, which is kind of letting the dog find where he should be. Um, so we're going to, we're going to tell him when he's wrong, but we're not going to let him get all the way over here. Not generally. I will give an exception in a moment. Um, if we're letting the dog get this far to the side where we're having to go up back the other way, um, we're like 10 years too late on our correction. We needed to correct the dog here or here. Um, ah, 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 bad dog. Ah, 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 bad dog. Um, you know, shorten up that distance where, where he's, whoa, I need to figure out where I should be. I'm not allowed to go past here. I'm not allowed to go past here. You know, well, I got to kind of find my spot here because I'm going to get fussed at otherwise. Um, and then when I say the, the exception, um, some dogs, I will let them come on around. And as they do, I will run right at them and just, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? And just scare the crap out of them. You know, I'm, they're, they're coming around here looking at the stock going, you know, wee. And all of a sudden I'm there in their face going, what the hell? Um, you know, scare the crap out of them. Scare the crap out of them. Um, and, and you do that and the dog goes, whoa, I didn't like that. That was, that was really scary. Um, maybe I'm going to slow down a little and, and think on that. 
and, and I'll do that to those type of dogs that get kind of wound up. Um, and, and some dogs it works really well, others it not so much. But that's just kind of one thing to, to think about. But you know, you got to figure out where your corrections need to be. Um, most of the time, right in here. Correct the dog here, you know, before he goes on past. Correct him here before he goes past. Um, so that's kind of that bit on corrections. Now we're going to talk about. Um, Another little deal, um, when you're starting a dog, you know, the, a lot of people will walk around and they'll, they'll let their dog circle and they'll, they'll walk around and, you know, we're just doing the circling thing. Well, that's all, that's all well and good, but circling is, is really not the objective. Um, balance, this is the objective. The point that the dog needs to be to take the stock somewhere. The objective is to take the stock somewhere. Um, you know, it's not to just spin around here. So when I'm when I'm working with a dog, um, you know, a young dog, I'll have them I'll have them flank. And some dogs need a little more shaping on flakes than others, but you know we're, we'll talk about that in a different video. Um, for this one, you know, we'll just talk a little about this. Um, on a on a dog that's really flanky, especially that really kind of kind of wants to move around a lot, I won't I won't let him flank too much. We'll do a short a short flank. Um, you know, let's say here, he's here. Um, we're going to stop him here and, and, and ask him to walk up and, and move the sheep in a straight line just for a little ways, not for very long. Um, young dogs, you know, it's, it's hard for them to just relax back there behind the stock for a very long distance. So you might get a straight line for a little ways and then the dog is just getting too antsy. And we go, all right, chill out, you know, flank a little bit, relieve some pressure, um, you know, Turn your eyes off and relax. We'll give you, you know, a little distance here, flank, and, and we'll we'll do a short little flank like that, and then we'll go another direction, um, and ask the dog to walk for another little short, a little, little short thing, um, and until he gets a little antsy, we'll say, and then we'll ask him to flank again. You know, we're kind of we're kind of making a square. Um, we don't want our sheep to just stand still in the same place all the time, and so the object is to go somewhere. Um, so we'll we'll do straight lines, little straight lines, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a square. Um, a lot of times I'll I'll kind of flank the same direction for several turns, um, and then I may ask the dog say to go all the way around, um, relax, go all the way around, and and we'll set up a new balance point and we'll walk. We'll walk straight another direction um, for a little ways, and, and these these little straight lines they'll start out short, and then you get them longer and longer um, until you're really going somewhere. And you can, and the dog is is relaxing back here. Um, so that's kind of kind of that deal. Um, and on that again, you know you can you can tell the dog to stop. You know where to stop here. And sometimes, like I said, repetition helps him understand. Um, but I try to let a dog kind of look for where he needs to be. You know, he, he made his little flank here. You know, he flanked around. Here we are. Um, I want him to start looking. And if he's not looking, I'll tell him, ah, ah, ah. You know, I'll give him a correction. You know, flip my little flag at him. Hey, pay attention. Look where you need to be. Look where I'm at. Um, and help him try and find that before I'll stop him. If, if he just doesn't get it, I'll stop him, but, but we try to let him figure it out. Because the more the dog can figure it out, the better it's going to be. Um, the more reliable he'll be on it, the more confident he'll be on it. He won't be waiting for you to tell him, for one thing. Um, some dogs will get to that deal where they don't, they don't look for balance because they're just waiting to be told where to stop. And we don't really want that because eventually we like to send the dog out yonder and not have to tell him. 
Okay, so um, there's another exercise. And this one might be a little bit tough to kind of explain on the, on the board here. This is the figure eight exercise. And I have an entire video on this particular exercise and, and I'll put a link to it. Um, there's a lady named Karen Hart in North Carolina who taught me this, um, among other things. And this is something that we made a video on and I'll link that video because like I said, I'm gonna try and draw it out, but it may be a little bit confusing. Um, this is our fence here. This black line is our fence. We want our stock to kind of be on the fence here. Um, and so let's say we'll, we'll go ahead and send our dog and get started. Um, so let's see. We'll use a couple different colors here. Our, our green line is going to be the dog. We're going to send him here. Um, so he's going this away. We're going to kind of go this way to, to help him get back here and not do something stupid. Um, and then what we want him to do is we want him to go on through behind the fence here. Um, so the handler is, is coming this way with the dog here. And we're going to send him on through. And I like to use like a, a flag or, or something or a, you know, a paddle or whatever. And I'll kind of flip that flag at him as he's going back there and just kind of propel him on, just whoosh, you know, zoom on out there. Um, so he's, he's, he's running out this way. We don't, we don't want him to stop in here. We want to push him on past this, push him on past. Um, so the dog goes this and he gets out here. Now, you know, we're kind of over here still. We might even take some steps backward because we want to let the sheep come this way. So the sheep come this way. And we're going to either tell the dog to stop here, or we're going to, if he doesn't automatically stop here, a lot of times the dog will, you know, whoosh, he's going to, nope, 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 don't, don't do this. Correction, bad dog, you know, go back the other way. Um, and, and try and help him find that spot there, or stop him on this spot here, and ask him to walk in just a little bit. You know, so he comes around and, and we ask him to walk in. And again, on a young dog, we're not gonna do too much of a straight line for very long. Um, you know, he walks in a little bit. We're moving back this way to give the sheep somewhere to go because the sheep have to have some space. Um, when we think maybe the dog's getting a little antsy or worried, you know, we've done a little bit of a straight line here. Now the handler is going to come right on up here and send the dog between the fence again. So between the fence we go, whoosh, get on through there, you know, whoosh him on out here. He comes, comes out and, you know, in here we say, oh, you know, we had a stop in here he may stop on his own he may not um, he may want to run right on back through this way you know we'll kind of have to either either down him here or fuss at him a little bit and say hey look for where you need to be you know i'm over here think about where you need to be um and and we'll back up and give the sheep somewhere to go and we'll come this way and then when we start thinking hey he needs to go we'll walk over here and repeat and as we do this, like I said, it, it kind of looks like a figure eight here, you know, the dog making this flank. Um, that's why it's the figure eight exercise and whatnot. You know, we'll, we'll walk these short distances and then, then we spread it out and we, we get a little bit farther. And the goal, the goal is to be able to walk down the fence here and, and have the dog hold balance and stay put. But we start out with, with just you know, maybe only five steps um, in a straight line, and then we flank him again, and, and we build on that. Um, and this is a, this is a good exercise for a dog who's who's really flanky, and he just like you know wants to run to the head or wants to zoom around or or whatever. Um, this is one I'll do on that type of dog quite a bit um, because it, it 
it's kind of that that pressure release zoom zoom on out there and then hey stop chill out um you know just for a minute chill out and then we'll let you do your zoomy thing again you know so there is that part and we're gonna probably end this here because i think it's getting long let's see